as you start your stippled landscape, we first need to create a value scale. We've made these before with charcoal, so you know what it looks like, but it will be different because you are stippling. And stippling is simply dots, lots and lots of dots. So the more dots that you have, the darker the color is going to be. So for this value scale, I have five different values. I'm not gonna fill up all of them for those boxes. I'm just gonna do about half, kind of on an angle, because you can see, and you will know once you start making these, that it takes a little while. So um, you can see I'm literally just dabbing my pen. Um, this is a 05 micron pen. You have an 08, so you might want to use those for the darker values and a smaller micron pen for the lighter values. And you're literally just spreading out your dots to make a lighter value. The more dots you put together and closer together will make that darker value. Underneath that, start thinking about what landscapes you might want to use. So I've listed a ton of different landscape choices below my value scale. After that, you're going to make your two sketches of your possibilities. Think about also what season do you want your landscape to be in? It doesn't have to be winter necessarily. You can see I selected desert for sketch one, and the reason behind that is I lived in Yuma, Arizona for three years, which is a desert, so there's my meaning behind that one. And the second one was, um, you can see when my hand moves, a, a seaside kind of cliff landscape um, from Okinawa, Japan, where I lived for two years. So you're gonna sketch it out in pencil, and this is how you would really start your final two. And then you wanna start laying out your dots. So if you look, I'm stippling for all this. If I stand back, it looks like a line, but it's really just a bunch of dots put together. So here's what your rough draft should look like. Check the picture if you have questions. 